Defense Intelligence of Ukraine comes up with new ways to hit Russian vessels. Defense Intelligence of Ukraine says that Ukrainian special forces are constantly inventing new methods to destroy Russian vessels in temporarily occupied Crimea. Andriy Yusov, spokesperson for Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, said this on the air of Radio Liberty. Russian occupiers certainly draw conclusions and try to build new defenses in different ways in different areas. Of course, they try to take it into account. But in the end, both Magura marine drone operators and special forces of Defense Intelligence of Ukraine do not attack in the same way every time. They act differently. Therefore, despite the fact that they try to hide ships, move them, conceal them and build new barriers, they find new ways to show that the defense intelligence of Ukraine and Magura are working extremely effectively. Another US, $3 million is real estate that is already on the seabed, he added. Recall on the 6th of May, the Defense Intelligence Division Group 13, using the Magura V-5 attack marine drone, destroyed a Russian Mangust-class high-speed patrol boat designated Project 12150 in temporarily occupied Crimea. Ukrainian intelligence reports that the Russian Navy and special services use boats of this class as multi-purpose high-speed vessels for patrolling the water area, fighting saboteurs and search and rescue operations. Defense Intelligence of Ukraine noted that the estimated cost of the destroyed Mangust is about 3 million US dollars. The Russian Defense Ministry did not comment on this statement. Since the fear of Ukrainian attacks forces the occupiers to hide large ships of the Black Sea Fleet away from the peninsula, combat work continues against the high-speed, maneuverable military vessels of the Russians. Ukraine's defense ministry said, Ukrainian forces have heavily relied on their arsenals of Magura V-5s and Sea Babies, another type of exploding naval drone, to damage and destroy scores of Russian warships in the Black Sea. Many of those targets were large vessels, unlike the one that was struck on Monday. Russia has been unable to consistently defend against this asymmetrical style of warfare, despite recent reshuffling in its naval leadership and new efforts to curb the threat. These efforts include adding protections in port and outfitting its crews with more machine guns, as well as additional combat air patrols. Ukraine's Magura V-5 uncrewed surface vessel drones start hunting Russian aviation. Footage posted by Russian media has shown that a Magura V-5 uncrewed surface vessel used by Defense Intelligence of Ukraine's Group 13 Special Forces Unit to destroy a Russian speedboat in the Black Sea on the 6th of May was equipped with R-73 air-to-air missiles. Ukrainian military news outlet Militani reported this. The Russians claimed that a photo of the drone taken from a helicopter showed that one missile is missing. The drone allegedly managed to launch it at a Russian Mi-8 helicopter but missed. Experts from Militani noted that the video shows a superstructure aboard the drone which resembles a Soviet R-73 air-to-air missile. In addition, it can be concluded that anti-aircraft USVs continue to carry warheads and can target enemy ships as after critical hits to the drone, a powerful explosion occurred. The R-73 is indeed a short-range air-to-air missile that can also be launched from ground-based systems. It does not require radar or other systems for guidance since it is equipped with its own infrared homing seeker head. The launch system typically features guides for two missiles. It is likely to be stabilized to compensate for sea motion and is rotatable. 
The missile's own seeker head is likely used for target acquisition. The Magura V5 was developed by a Ukrainian private company called Special Techno Export. Relatively little is known about the company, which keeps a low public profile for security reasons. The original drone prototypes were offered to the security service of Ukraine. At that stage, they had a simple design that bore little resemblance to the version in use today. It employed a single communication channel via Starlink and had a simple engine, navigation and control system. At the same time, Ukraine's Directorate of Military Intelligence had also been exploring the possible use of marine and airborne drones and created a separate department for the use of such unmanned systems named Group 13. The head of the division known by his call sign, Borets, said the department had been working on seaborne drones since the summer of 2022.